Shalom, 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 brothers. Come on, here, back at it again. First thing first, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders on the true form from GMS. Blessing to the Akimah, their preaching his word, with horror to the Syrity. Blessing to the 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, Asa David, the Biafta, with Dah. And shalom, one of you brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking at the So today, brothers, you know, it's a nice little day, full of more like spring again. But it, we know how it's going to get a little bit. Uh, that's just going to pretty much be like a very limited. Uh, but today, brother, through spirit, you know, I want, uh, you know, I want to get, get in the time that we're in. I mean, we're very, very, very close um, to, you know, to, uh, I'm going to say the implantation of the chip. That's not what I'm getting into. But we know when that prophecy hits, that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much a wrap for, for everything. Let alone Jacob's trouble and family of the word as well. And then after that, the end all be all, when, you know, Yahweh Shah come back in World War III, which is like, you know, shoot, we all hasten for her at this point. Um, but it's but it's all good, though, because the times that we living in, these are the times that the Lord says was, was going to happen for things to start uh, wrapping up. And um, at the end of the day, though, we still in the Lord's time. You know, you know, we see when you when brothers on a watchtower, you know, we watching every day. Uh, you know, looking at the news articles, you know, especially when brothers going to highways and hedges, um, we, we bringing out, you know, latest news. We like a alternative news media. If you want to look at it through the spirit, it's kind of dope, you know, especially when you're in your watchtower. But these times that we in is all in the Lord's time. I know we want things to go tomorrow, which shoot, man, the way things are going is looking like it could be tomorrow because we're we waiting for something really major to pop off to, you know, uh, snowball this thing, you know, a little bit more bigger, uh, cause we, you know, cause we can see that, uh, cause, cause we can see, you know, we see how like, um, pipelines been destroyed, the so-called fiat currency will be down in December, you know, major, um, major death is going around, prices is going up. We see the stores, certain stores around the nation or even in the world, uh, are not having, uh, are not able to get, you know, a follow up as far as foods and the trucks coming in and we can see if famines could start coming around like it's looking real, real uh, prophesy, you know, I just made that word up, but um, it's looking real, real, um, real good. You know what I mean? Sometimes it can be like an overwhelming tease because, you know, remember it said uh, oppression make a wise man mad. You know, the longer we're here, the, the, the more it still messes with our minds, man, like like me, like my brothers in my in our group chat. You know, one of my brothers, you know, was stating the fact that his hatred toward his place grows more and more every day. That's very, very, um, that couldn't be further from the truth, man. That is, that's definitely, definitely, um, I mean, we're not coming further from the truth, but that's, that's truth, man. That's, uh, really how a lot of us brothers feel, I feel. And so we just got to wait for, we just got to keep on waiting for this, for the, for the exact time. Now, see, when it was 2019 and before it was like, man, we were just out there prophesying and. You know, it was like, damn, it's like, you know, well, we don't see anything at the moment, but hey, we're going to keep doing this work. And boom, 2020 came in now and up until this point, we looking real verified, uh, like, like the scriptures say. You know, so real quick, um, matter of fact, um, just to go off of just to just to land back off of that was at Mark 16, I think it is. Let me see. Uh, yep, it says Mark, Mark 16 and 20. It says, and they, which is the prophets, you know, of the of, of um, you know, of Lord, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians, the hopeful elect, shall along to you, brothers. It says, it says, and they went forth and preached everywhere, right? That's what we was doing for a while. Um, you know, everywhere, you know, all over the world. And there wasn't really things happening in 2019, but now from 2020 to now, this is what this 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 is this is what the Lord's been doing. Uh yeah, the Lord working with them, right? The Lord working with us. And confirming the word with signs following. Aman. See, that's beautiful. So that's exactly what we see. Man. We, you know, brother seeing uh, chariots everywhere. Like I said, major deaths. Famine is it looking like it's on a rise with food shortages. I know we're looking at um, uh, wars and rumors of wars, something crazy. Not too many people talking about these major earthquakes that much, but they're happening all in diverse places, like the scriptures say. You know? Um... And also, uh, and also these uh, these uh, proxy wars and shoot, you can even see the um, persecution of the men of the Lord on the way. Famine of the word seems to be showing itself. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, 
we 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 out here. But this time frame that we in, we still waiting on the Lord, even though it looks real good. It's still on the Lord's uh, time. But we can see that the Lord is definitely making moves, though. So that's all that really matters because we can see the Lord is making moves because it says working with them, confirming the word with signs following. You know, when we when we talking about the mark of the beast, we see the infrastructure is already built. We see chipping is already happening. Beautiful. We talk about major wars and rumors of wars. Well, World War Three is, is getting out of control. It's on ramping up. We've always said that Russia was going to be the lead thing of this through the scriptures. And Russia is is big talk of the town. You know, so all these signs are following. We are really is really is, is really looking really, really awesome. But the thing is, though. We on the Lord's time. We want to wait on the Lord's time. But the Lord, even the Lord is making this move. We it's still it's still of the Lord to, you know, say today is going to be the day at this time frame is on the, on the Lord. Matter of fact, what can prove that? Um, you know, a lot of us brothers go into. Um, I start with Daniel first, and then my my the, the major one I wanted was in uh, let's say second address, but Daniel four and thirty. Four and thirty-four. Let me see. Let's go like this. Go like this. It's uh thirty. It's uh thirty-five. It says, "And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and he doeth according to his will, in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? Right? Can 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 no mind you? This is the every everything you see. Everybody walking around is of the Lord's creation." Right, so he could do whatever he want with it, with the Lord's with whatever he, whatever he created, he could do whatever he want with it. You can't even ask, you know, what is it that he does or why or none of that. Leave it alone. So you're gonna kill yourself for all that. And and, my, and mind you, it says um, uh, he do he could do it to, to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. So you gotta remember the the Yahweh Bashim is the ultimate you know director in a movie because this is this is this is his movie. Right. So, however, the pieces he put together, and however the time frame he got set, because in the movie there's a specific time in the movie where there's going to be the the protagonist going down from the uh, well, no, the uh, yeah, the protagonist dominates the the antagonist, antagonist, or and vice versa. That's however the, the the director wants the movie to go, and there's always a, t a certain point in the film where that there's there where that where that 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 event happens and makes its climax for it to you know make the movie to be at its climax right so same thing with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah there's a point in time in this particular movie we in uh where the Lord had it set up where the chip won't be in play at that particular time frame that moment that second they're going to go on the news and say this is what it's going to be or there's going to be an event that's going to happen that's going to make that come 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 about and then um et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But having these scriptures, you know, as men of the Lord, we're able to read and see see the events that's going to happen and what's going around it that that, that the events that gotta happen for these major prophecies to hit. And the Lord gave us those breadcrumbs and we're seeing them. So now we like, okay, this is the this we're in that moment. We're at the end. We're at the end of Esau's rule. Right, but we on the Lord's time for it to go down like that. So whenever the Lord make his move, when the Lord press that button, you know, spiritually, whatever, um, that's when it's gonna happen. Uh, the other one was uh pretty much gonna drive home the port that the Lord is in control, and we gotta wait on the Lord. Um matter of fact, our precepts is flying through my mind right now. Let me go to Zephaniah uh three and uh three and eight just to prove the point that the we gotta wait on the Lord. It says uh Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shah, until the day that I rise up to the prey. You see that? We got so when the Lord, you know, when the, when the Lord make that day, we got to sit back, do the work until we don't got to do the work anymore on the family of the word and wait on the Lord to make his make his major move. We're going to just keep on holding and keep on holding until the Lord make his move. It says, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. Right. So, it, so it's the Lord's determination to do it. He really on that type time. That's what he really wants to ultimately do. But at the end of the day, though, he's bound by his word. And he got to have certain things that go in play in order for it to make that from to make that ultimate that ultimate um, e event, and it says uh, that uh, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So the Lord going to draw, it's going to happen. Uh, matter of fact, and that's you know, shoot, 
I think this Israelite one on one at this point. Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, which it is, and, in, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right. When I read this scripture right here, this scripture right here uh, reminds me of a time clock. So, so and, and in between the time clock going down to zero, um, there's major events going on while in so. You know, you know, while while it's being done. So okay, so that's cool. So like it looked like so we and, and the thing is though, we can't see the time clock to say, oh, okay, well we got such and such years, such and such months left, and such and such weeks and days, hours to minutes left. We can't see that. So it's like, okay, so it's like it's like more of a like a just follow the breadcrumbs of what the Lord says gonna happen around those time frames. So so when doing so, it seems that it tarries because we can't see the we can't see the um, uh, the time clock, and by not seeing the time clock and having the breadcrumbs, you kind of feel it it, it. it definitely puts you in a position where it seems like it can be this week, next week, or next month. It's like ah, it's like you know, whenever these 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 days go by, by watching the news and certain major events, it seems as if it seems as if. Um, uh, tomorrow's a great day or next week seems to be a great a great week for something to go down let alone you know next month to next year like me and my brothers my uh, my brother Ariya like to say I can't see this place surviving another year and a half let alone six months to a year is what he say most phenomenal words to hear even though we own the Lord it's very comforting to hear to, to, to ponder your brain that close you know what I mean so that's phenomenal but it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Is this a, a specific time that the Lord has set for it? But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So that's that ticking time clock I'm, I envision. And we just can't see it. So it seems like it's tarrying, but it's not. My last example would be kind of like um, uh, when I'm working out, right? When you're doing exercises like time of retention. So let's just say um, abs, for example. Um, it, it's it's incredible to to experience something via time because how things seem. Uh, like for example, so let's just say you're doing abs for a forty five seconds to a minute straight. This is a really quick analogy. And um, when you're doing a task and you're racing against the clock. Now, when you're racing against the clock, it seems like you don't have the you don't have enough time in the world to do what you're trying to do against the clock. But whenever you're like you're dependent on the clock, it's a difference. Like when you're racing against the clock, you want to beat the clock and get whatever you got done in between before it goes to zero on the clock. So it's like right. But then when you when you're but when you're but when you're actually doing something uh, alongside the clock. And you're desiring the clock to hurry up and go down. That's when things seem to slow down. So, for example, when in time of retention, when you're um, say you're doing abs, you're doing a specific ab motion um, exercise. But the motion of it that's making your your abs contract after a while through like rep like eleven, you start feeling like okay, the it's starting to tension up and it makes you want to stop. But you're but you're going alongside the clock, so you can't stop until the minute is up, right? So now, now that you're doing the exercise, which is called time of retention, that tension is starting to create itself. And you're not, and the timer is not over yet. So what you'll notice is you, the person has the clock in their hand and you're doing the exercise. So by doing the exercise, the tension starts to happen. After a while, you like, damn, it ain't, it's not a minute yet. You start feeling like, damn, like, and next thing you know, the person goes 30 seconds. You felt like pretty much 40 seconds ago what should have been 30 seconds left but it wasn't it was only 45 seconds in and you feeling like god damn it ain't over yet like oh shit and you, you still doing the motion and the tension is building and then next thing you know you swear it's over by now you felt like you've been doing it for too long already within a minute and the guy goes 25 seconds left you like god damn you know what i mean you start feeling like yo and you want to stop but you can't stop until it gets to zero that's how that's how it feels when, when in real life as far as um, these prophecies. It's like, you know you got a minute, so that's a little bit of time left. But also, as we're going through life, it seems like it should have been over by now, but it's not. But no matter what, we still got to keep on going until it goes down to zero. I just made that up. That sounds pretty dope. I hope that 
hope that was pretty hope brothers really uh uh, understood that but this is what this precept reminds me of every time i read it one more time it says habakkuk two and three for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry you see that it said though it tarry like you know what i'm saying it's like damn it's like okay seem like it's bullshitting but it's really not remember we can't see that time clock so it was like we can't judge perfectly when that time going to be only Yahweh because he has that clock in his hand knowing exactly when zero is going to really be remember he's the only one that know Yahweh shout nor the angels don't even know right that's interesting it's also a cut to Christianity that on this trinity bullshit and it says and it says though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so just driving home the point brothers with that one you know what I mean we just uh we just we just we just um on that boat or on that bus ride, just not knowing where we going, but we do know by the by the prophecies, we can see that we're on we're very close to our destination. That I do know. Second address four, uh shout out to my brother Ariya. This one sticks to me now. Uh four, I believe thirty seven, I think is what it is. Yep. It says, um let me see what start thirty six. Okay, so thirty seven says by it says by measure have he measured the times, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And by number have he numbered the times. See that? He numbered the times too. And he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. You see that? So he ain't no, he's not gonna jump. He's not gonna jump to jump, skip something. The Lord got it all set up the way he got it set up, and he measured it a certain way for it's gonna be like this. And he also got it, and he also got it numbered in a way where it's going to be like this, and to all be fulfilled, and to so to, and to get to this point, he got it all set up and how he going to do it. So that way, when by the time it gets here, it might go like this, it might go like that, here, 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 boom, 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 bow, right there. That's how it's going to go down, brothers. The best part about this is we can see that we're very, very, very close, but it's on the Lord's time, man. So we're going to have to wait on that, keep it moving, keep this ball rolling, because, you know, Brothers Videos and Highways and Hedges is coming to an end very real soon. That prophecy is coming. That's talking about that family of the word, Amos 8 and 11. You know, not a bread, but hearing of the words of the Lord. They're going to run to and fro to find it and not find it. So, hey, Lord willing, brothers, this is edifying. I brought this on. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, and Kakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be, exists, Bashim in the name. And the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Shem in the name, and the Holy Spirit of Rakak with Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, all in the truth from GMS. Blessings to the Haki Madera preaching his word with horror to sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000 and one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, the house of David, the Biaf, the Abada. And shout out to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shout out to you, brothers.